In Bolivar County, people have also evacuated and some efforts are underway to stop possible looting. WSVT Steve Dreyer has more on the flood team coverage tonight from Rosedale. Here in Rosedale, the method of transportation wasn't your car, it's by boat. Several homes have been cut off by the rising water and the Bolivar County Sheriff's Department has made a formal request by the state for additional help and will be monitoring the levy indefinitely. I've been on the phone with Sheriff Grimmett. Sheriff Grimmett has talked to the governor this morning. Uh, we've been back and forth in conversations where he's getting us some additional help in here from the Mississippi National Guard and also the uh, Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks. And we will be patrolling the levy 24 hours a day, seven days a week until this uh, disaster is over with. Many residents have left their homes, and for some it's a race against time to save their property before it's too late. We're moving everything we can uh, as high as possible, and of course, um, move out. Now obviously, there's not much hunting to be done uh, now, so everyone is getting their property out that can't be replaced, putting everything else as high as possible, and moving away. Officials have said the majority of people have left and are reassured that their homes are safe, and anyone caught looting will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Like I say, 98% of the people that are living on the inner, inner, inside of the levee have already evacuated their homes. Uh, the rest of them are to be out by Saturday midnight, which is the 7th of this month. For many of us, this will be our 100-year flood. The water may not get as high as 1927, but the impact it is going to have on our livelihood will be felt for weeks not days. In Rosedale, Steve Dreyer, WXVT, Delta News. And the river side of the levee in that area of Bolivar County is forecast to raise, rise another 10 feet before it crests. And while the levees will